Testament times, it says an attacker or a rapist can't be prosecuted if he marries his victim. Morocco was praised for updating its family code in 2004, but activists say there's still a lot of room for improvement. In Morocco this year, three young girls, Amina, Safa and Shema, ended their lives after having to marry the men who raped them. They were advised by judges or their own family to wed them to save their honor. I couldn't believe this was happening in a country where I grew up free, so I decided to go back and investigate why this was allowed to happen. I traveled, filmed and listened to how people felt about our young girls being raped and abused and I now need your help to release my documentary. The simple project is about understanding why we are failing to protect girls from rape and questioning why an abusive marriage is thought to be a solution. 475 Breaking the Silence is a documentary aimed to end this horrifying practice by engaging Moroccan society and the international community to help give rape victims another chance in life.